What's up guys? I'll be switching out the auxiliary water pump. Let's see if I can get it still show for you guys there. So the lifespan on these are about like 10 years. And these things are very expensive. They go over a thousand dollars. I was able to pick one up for 110 online. And for this, you're gonna have to take off all of this piece here. All right, so I have to remove this whole cover so I can have access because the, the pump's behind the inverter. So in order for me to have access, I have to take all of this off. And before you start messing with any electrical down there, Make sure you unplug the battery. You don't want to shock yourself here. Remember, you're dealing with high voltage. Huh? See that? All right, guys, I'm gonna be using a pick to get the cover off from this wiper. And just lift underneath. Get the, this cover here. You're going to be using a 14 for these two. Take off the wiper. Second wiper. You can always put these back so you don't lose them. I'll just thread them back through. You can put these back in place. You don't have stuff all over the place. Or you can have one of those magnetic bulls. Keeps everything organized. assembly so the wipers first and this part and then you have one two three four five looks like five ten ten mil and this is for the wiper assembly the motor plug this guy Using a 10. These guys. There you go, right there. So it looks like everything's opening up. The restrictions are being reduced on what you can do, where you can go. Um, so I'll be making some plans to go out and metal detect soon. Sorry that, you know, it's, with all this, we have to adjust with the new norm. 
hopefully soon we'll be able to get it out there and see what we can find. Still, you know, staying safe, you know. So you have five in total for the for the assembly for the motor and the wipers. There's the assembly here. This side. This piece, there's some more tens in the way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you have a total of seven. Ten mils that you gotta remove. And we also have to remove this harness from its place as we're gonna lift this out of the spot. If I could thread these back through so I don't lose them. Like that, you don't lose anything, you just put it back in there. Also, if you have a drill. You can always do this with a drill. All right, so there's three tens, small tens, on the passenger side. Total of seven. 
other ones that go for this plate. I believe that should be it. I'll be able to lift this. So that gives us access to this area that we need to work. And you can move the fuse, the fuse box or the relay box. All right. So that pump is right there. You see that? right here right there and I need to get to it but I have to remove all of this it's in my way so before I start doing any of that got to go to the back of the car and unplug the battery here that's unplugged and also to be safe I'm also gonna unplug this guy over here you don't have to take all of that out but I'd rather be safe than sorry you know why deal with all that
so there's no more power to the door. And then we can move on to the front. So that's unplugged. All right, guys, now they secured that there's no more power running through it. There could still be a charge in here in the inverter. So just still be careful. I need to unplug this guy from the inverter so I could lift this up. It gives me space to get to that pump and plug in, plug up, unplug these guys. Anything that's in, in the way of giving you access to that. So it's a real, real tight spot. And then you got the two coolant hoses. So I'm gonna open up this cover. You got, I believe these are tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, twelve. So you got twelve tens to remove. So you can open this cover. And I can have access to that plug. And make sure you're careful when removing this cover because the parts inside are really uh, delicate, you know? Like you have to keep close attention and orientation of stuff the way it lines up. I'm not sure if it's gonna hit this reservoir for the inverter. But if it is, I'm going to have to loosen it and slide it over a little bit. I'm not sure if, if it's going to hit here. I'm just going to go ahead and loosen these up to be on the safe side. reservoir so the gold the bronze looking ones go for the inverter and these are a 10 so we'll use a key for this one
real, real tight right here. If you have a, a ratchet type wrench, it would be perfect right here. But I don't, so I take my time. So this is the second one. So this is closer to the latch of the hood. And this is the one that goes farther to the back. Just make sure they're the same size. Like that. If they're the same size, it don't matter how they go back on. Alright, so this is... So there's another one in the rear. I'll show you guys where that one's at. So there's one. There's one down here. See it? Right there. So you have that one there. This one. And then this one right here. Alright, so that gives me enough space. That's loose. I'll be able to lift this. And you know what? I still have to remove one more, which is a, a special uh, E8 or some star tool that I need to remove this one so I can lift this. It's just for security purposes. Okay, so for that specialty screw there, I use one of these bits and on this bit it says TT30. So that's what I use to loosen up this guy. And Put it on a socket. And just apply pressure and loosen it. Once it's loosened, you're good. The looks of it, that's going to be it. Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and hit the brake and hold it for a couple seconds too. If there's any uh, voltage, it'll drain from the, you know, the taillights, anything. But, safe than sorry, you know, it's always better. So right here, I'm also trying the emergency lights, nothing's coming up. So I'm just trying to drain everything. Pushing the horn, nothing. Still pushing the brakes. All right, that should do it. This is that specialty bolt. And that should give me the access I need. show you so the inside of the inverter Panasonic this 
looks pretty cool. So I need to unplug those right there. So this is gonna be three, I'm thinking those are gonna be 12s. And I'll be able to unplug this, pull this out, and then I'll put the cover back on. But just make sure that you don't mess with none of this, you know, real sensitive. Again, I'm gonna go back in here, remove those bolts there. So those are actually 10s, they're not uh, 12. I thought they were 12. One, two, bolts to hold on that that wiring it's two You have to remove these two. So you have one here, one here for this cable. These are also tens. And then we should be able to this. All right, guys, so I removed this part, unplugged it, and I'm going to put the cover back on. I don't want nothing to fall in here or mess anything else up. All right guys, the cover is back on. So I only put one, that specialty screw here and then one on the top. So like that, no, no particles go in it, and that cable's loose. So now I just gotta figure out a way how to keep this on this side. All right, so I can have more space down there. guys so gotta remove these clips for this harness
So I'll be using these kind of pliers. They're the needle nose long pair. And I'm gonna squeeze on the connector. And pull this back. There we go. That's one. So I was able to use the pliers on that other one, on this one. Man. Talk about being a pain. All right guys, after fighting back and forth with the plugs, you know, I use one of these picks to help me get in between the, the latches here on the bottom one and also on this guy here. This back one is a pain, you know, big time. Um, just take your time. You know, you can't really use some a tool. You just have to, you know, squeeze that clip as best as you can and pull that off. So now the next issue that I'm dealing with here is that I got these two hoses. I got this one. It's easier to plug because you have space on this side, right? But this one, this other hose on this side, there's not very much space to plug it up. And I don't feel like draining the whole system to switch this out. So I'm gonna try to use uh, some clamps, some hose clamps to see if I can plug this up and don't make too much of a mess. And if everything works out, that would be perfect, but I still don't know. This is going to be my first time changing this pump. And these are what I'm going to try to use to plug those up. All right, guys, I wasn't able to use a smaller one, so I had to use a bigger clamp. And this is the way I put it on the stop hose. See that? The other problem is going to be that hose there. So this hose here runs underneath, goes right there. Let's see if you can see it. So that one wraps underneath the inverter and it comes out on the bottom on this side, somewhere down there. I gotta figure out where the, the other hose. All right guys, so I needed more space. Plug this one and I unplug this one, this top one. So this guy goes on top and this one goes on the bottom. Right there. Gave me more space. And literally I had to put in the clamp at an angle so I can, let's see if I can get you guys. Sorry for the light. You guys get the idea though, right? So it's in an angle, clamp that bottom hose. This hose here, and this hose is clamped. So it's good, now I'm just gonna loosen these up, these clamps. 
try to pull the hose back. See how that goes. So I was able to pull these clamps off the hose here. This is a specialty clamper. Some deal. This is this snaps in between here, and it's a pain to like once you put the clamp back on and you're trying to release it. It's a pain because you have to. It's offset or something. This was not too bad. This is the regular. So I was able to move that back, and now I'm gonna take some pliers and work the hoses back and forth. Pretty sure they, you know, been here more than 10 years. So I have no luck, just with the pliers. I had to put that pick. Let's see if I can get you guys. So I had to put a pick in between the hose and work this down to loosen it up. This is what I'm using. All right, I was able to remove that left hose. This one's more difficult. So what I'm gonna do is loosen up the bracket that holds the pump and try to pull the pump up. And hopefully I can get the hose off of it like that. So there's a screws back there for the bracket that holds the pump. It's another 10. I believe it's this guy right there. And then I'm gonna try to come up and then pull the Pull the pump away from that hose there. See if that works. All right, guys. So uh, you're gonna need a long extension, and I'm using a, one of these swivel adapters here with a ten on it, so you can get in between that space there in here. locked in place so I'll just get that loose Right, guys let me just start by saying that this job is a pain in the ass the pumps out of there you do have to back and forth and back and forth with this hose this hose is gonna be a pain in the ass when you once you get to that hose I mean if you don't have patience and you want to pay top dollar then just take it in but um, I'm trying to do these repairs myself save some money and share with you guys that it could be done at home you, you know try to save somebody some money if anybody knows how to do this process easier drop a comment let me know but for the most part my point of view my experience on it so far this job is a pain in the ass there's the pump so it's like this it's this hose here that was a nightmare for me and here's the bracket so this bracket has two there's one here and one here I thought it was only this one but there's one right here and that one that one goes right there so you have another bolt right there and then you have that bolt back there so one two and they're both tens all right guys so I ran into a nightmare 
you know, it was a pain to get this guy out. But check it out. It's the wrong up. Oh man. You don't know how this fucking sucks, man. It said for an 05 Prius. This is one thing about ordering online. You know, you don't know until it gets here. But this is gonna look like I'm gonna have to return this. This sucks, man. Look at the the plug. See all this plug? See the back of it? Even the bracket's different. If it was just a bracket, you know, I can, I can figure out how to switch this over. But it's not only that. So now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do. Either wait on another part or go down to O'Reilly's and spend eight hundred and twenty dollars. I really don't want to do that. But man, this sucks.